Volkswagen Tesla, summer's coming, Model S owners, plaid and long range, new 2021 plus models. Check out this great sunshade we have with a large panoramic window. Let's take a look at everything in the box. We're going to show you how to install it. It comes in this nice Ziploc pouch, so in winter time, when you want to take it off, just keep it down in your sub trunk area and take a look. First of all, we've got a full blackout shade. So this is a black shade that's silver on the top that will completely reflect light. So this will really make it dark. We'll show you how to put that on after we get it installed. We have the clips and we have the optional magnets. Now these magnets hang and attach inside so it cuts out on the sagging that you get from such a large window. So let's get started and show you how to open it first. We'll show you how to test fit it. And again, right here, Model S 21. This is how you know you have the right model. And uh, let's show you now. So it's going to fly open. Uh, we call this a butterfly spring-loaded wrap. It's got a little piece in the middle here. Just pop it open. And this is how big your sunroof is. So again, the round here is for the front. And the Model S always hangs over the passenger. So this is the full shade. So let's show you how it fits, how it goes in. Take a look at it first. Uh, we recommend that you open up the trunk. So open up your trunk right here and just put it right on top of your headrest and slide it right in. Now this is just going to give you an easy way to get it inside so you can take a look at it before you put it in. So just go right over the headrest and slide it up like this. And now I'll meet you inside and take a look at it. I'm also going to grab my bag of clips here. So the clips I want to hold it in place. And these slide right under the headliner. So you'll notice as we go up here, we're going to install the clips right on the front. So open the bag up. Don't lose any of them. They give you the exact count for what you need to secure it. And that count is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And they're all the same, and they all attach like this. So note, uh, hopefully you can see the lighting here that you're going to attach it like this on the metal bar, just like that. So you take it and you hook it under the metal bar and lock it. Now this is going to hold it right into the window like this. Just slide it right inside. Now the first two are here. We're going to spread them out a little bit. And then I'm going to hop in the back seat and we're going to put in the side panels. Okay, so now same clip, side piece, attach it. I'm going to do the back door piece first. Now I'm going to come right over here to do the driver's side back door. Slide it right up and in. And don't move it too much right or left or it will pop out. And now I'm going to do the back window. I'm going to put one in first. And it goes like this. Always remember this way. Like that. Now we're going to put one by the driver's uh, passenger side, front seat. And again, this blocks a lot of light. You can see the uh, fluorescent lights or the neon lights above us. So it doesn't block all the light. But we're going to show you the option how you can block all the light next. Same thing here. Hook it on. Spread these guys out like this, side to side. Fits good. And now I'm going to come over here and get the driver's side. The driver's side is up. Now you want to spread them out good because you want them to pinch the arch. So notice the arch here. We don't want these too far apart because it'll sag more. So we think it should be just over the B pillar on each side, providing uh, the highest and tightest fit. But you can see how it fits. It looks great, keeps the sunlight out. Now, we'll talk about sagging. So the middle of this uh, has something pulling on it called gravity. And the gravity is just this far. So if you measured it, it's about 
three inches of hanging down. So if you don't like this hanging down feature, um, we're going to show you the magnets that are included that will keep it suspended up like this. Now, if you put one magnet here, it'll keep it tight there. If you put two up, it'll hold it like this. So you will notice a little bit of a indentation, so to speak, in the roof. So honestly, um, I would leave it like this, but some people probably would uh, not like it hanging down the two inches or three inches. So let's get the magnets and show you how to put them in. Um, okay, we're going to install the silver lining light block outfit. So make sure your Model S is here. Similarly, we're going to put it back inside, slide it all the way down. And uh, in our previous models, we had um, little straps that went around the sides. This one actually has a little Velcro tab, so it's cool. Uh, let me show you how it works. So each spot has a little tab, and this is male hook and loop that's going to stick right on here. So let me square it all up. And start with this first corner. It keeps doesn't stop grabbing. Okay, so take this piece here, hook it right around the back, just like that, just like this. Okay, over here, flip it up, only one more piece at the corner. Again, pull it all the way, flip it up and over. That's good. There's one on this corner, same thing, flip it around. And again, silver obviously is going to uh, reject or bounce more light off than black. Black would absorb it, so that's why we're not uh, putting black that uh, is right up against the window. Okay, a little stretchy, stretchy. And we're good to go. And now this is going to sit right up against the glass. So now we'll do the magnet installation first. One thing we found is when you add something else to this, it's going to sag more. More weight, that's going to have more sag. So let's show you how to do the uh, magnet installation right now. Okay, right down here. Now here's how you install or you put together the magnet assembly. First thing we're going to do in your car, whether you have tint or not, is you're going to use the alcohol prep and you're going to clean the very center or the two locations we showed earlier and then we're going to peel off the blue piece so this is clear red which keeps it separated from the magnet so you see how the magnet works the magnet is going to grab this so we'll hold it up we're going to take the alcohol prep we're going to remove the red double-sided tape and we're going to stick this in your car to the roof, and this will be on the other side of the shade. So it's going to work like this, just like that, and that's going to hold it together. So in the middle, we're going to put the red facing the glass. We're going to peel off the liner so the magnet grabs harder, and then we're going to install it. Okay, let's go in the car. hope that makes sense. Again, I'm going to pick the center location, attach the magnet first. We're going to put the shade in with the blackout screen and then we'll get it uh, installed. Here we go. So take the uh, red piece and I've got 20% Expel Ultimate uh, tint in here which is uh, the best tint you can buy and installed all the time. It's actually Prime Plus. So put it right here right across the B pillar and let it dry. Then the red side. We're going to peel the red side off. Okay, so pick off this red liner. And now, gallon, this is double sided tape. It's not going to affect or hurt your glass or your window tint in any way. And you can install that right up here. Now, make sure you're in the same exact spot that you just prepped with alcohol. Line it up straight across the middle and stick it on. 
Now that does need some time to dry or bond to the window. Now I'm going to peel the little blue liner uh, piece off. Again, this is just a little protective film. So again, we're going to demonstrate what this does, how it holds. And peel this off. So again, this is just a little protective liner because you don't want this surface to get all messed up. That comes right off. And now the magnet. So watch how strong the magnet is, okay? So the magnet is super strong. It's going to really grab. You don't want to break your window, but you're going to put the shade back in. And then we're going to put this piece right underneath. And it's going to hold it up right in the center and support it and remove the three inches of hang. We got the blackout or the silver lining blackout shade in. And now we're going to attach it and connect the battery, I'm sorry, the magnet and the roof. So again, just place it right over the headrest. Slide her up like this and go over the top headrest. And then we're going to put the clips in one at a time and be done with it. Okay, and remember, the magnets go on last. So let's hook the clips on one more time. Okay, number eight. We're putting the eighth one on here. And then we're going to show everyone the difference of the magnet uh, holding up the center. Okay, so remember now we had this on before and it sagged about three inches, two to three inches. Now it seems to be even more. So again, more weight makes this hang down. Let me even show you from this point of view. This will help people decide if they want to put in the magnet or not. Uh, this is good. This is how much difference it'll be. So that versus this. So about three inches. All right. So now we're going to spin around. And again, make sure all your clips are in. Make sure everything is in the extremes. Again, this wire will move around. You can position it. Uh, it's a thick wire that runs around the whole perimeter. And Okay, now take your magnet. So remember, our magnet here is ready to go. Feel up in the middle, find the spot for it. And this is the location right here. So now the magnet is holding the center up. Kind of looks like uh, a dome light. Should be a light function, that would be pretty cool. Um, now in the Model S, you've got this light here. And again, I'm gonna take it down and show you the difference. So watch my finger, watch this. So it's about four inches difference. So we want you to know right what you're getting into. Okay, now we're gonna do some more testing. Make sure that uh, the adhesive holds good. Um, we've tried different magnets. Over the years on the Model Y, which now the Model Y has a two-piece configuration, but we're going to pull it outside in the sun. We're going to test this in like 100 degree weather and just make sure that nothing lets go, that you get a good strong bond to the glass. Thanks for watching and uh, we're going to continue outside. Okay, we're in the car, the magnet's holding, and look at this, this is 100% light blockout. I've got 20% on the side windows, 50% in the windshield, and you can see this is 100% light blockage. Now heat, yes, heat still can come through slightly, but very, very rarely. We'll do some temperature tests in a few minutes. We're gonna park it right here in the bright sunlight and um, make sure everything's working well. But if you want a dark roof, you want a dark headliner, you want it like it's a solid painted roof like the original S's had, well, this will do it. It'll keep the heat out and you still have the beautiful glass roof. Okay, we're going to check back in another couple minutes.